Dude, we have... It's so funny. We legit have the worst premieres on these. It's definitely not optimal. You can come in, bud. Just chill out in that uh, chair over there. All right, are we back at live? Yeah. Back live. All right, well, you guys let us know if we if the audio still sucks. Pull it up. I'm doing that right now. Okay, so are you sure we're streaming? Yeah, we're live right now. Are we? I can't pull it up on my end. Oh, that sounds good. The sound sounds good now. Good. Oh, my goodness. Big bet, guys. Bro. Oh, man, you scared us. We just ran into audio. We, we were just recording some of the Patreon videos, and we, we were having some audio issues, like, just a second ago, and... Oh, all right. I've been struggling. Double dude. check. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds good. All right, guys. Oh, it sounds crispy, huh? Are we still choppy? What are we doing? Jeez. No, we're good. Oh my goodness. You need new outfits. We do need new outfits. Why does it look a little blurry? Is it look blurry? Is that just me, bro? You see it? Hey, listen. You guys are here to be loved. We're here to love on you. Yeah. With uh, the best audio we can provide currently. These are these are huge these are huge facts. Oh, feels good. Feels good, guys. All right. Well, so we're doing an unboxing thing. We got a crap ton of stuff over there. Uh, yeah. we'll we'll wait before we get some people in here. The lady had to give me a wagon. She was she was visually upset. Yeah. Th like okay, so it's the same lady. If you follow the Instagram, you'll you'll know. Uh this lady has been or rather Andy has been the bane of this lady's existence for literally the entire time we've been on YouTube. Or at least getting fan mail. Because the first time we came, there was like a crap ton of stuff. And she was like, you need to come sooner. What do you even do? This is way too much stuff for one person. Yeah. And he was like, oh, I do a YouTube channel. And picks, there's a reason why I don't go. Because I don't want to be hated. Uh, so then she's like, you need to come sooner. So he's like, okay, okay. So he comes out again after like a month and a half. <laughs> again, way too long. And shows up. And the lady's like, knows him on site when he walks in the door. Like he calls me like, keep in mind I, I, at this point I was forgetting the PO box key. Yeah. So I would pull up like, Hey, like my PO box is like five, two, one, one, but I don't have like the key for, it. I left it at home. And she's like, no, I remember you. <laughs> she, so she's like, this is the last time I'm going to open your PO box and give you all this stuff. Was it the last time? Well, the next time after that, I was like, I brought my key. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I never had to deal with that. But a, a, after that, every time I went, it was like, you just need to come sooner. This is too much stuff. Because like, yeah. at first it was a cart. It was, uh, we were on cart status. And then eventually graduated to where we were on like recently wagon status. Dude. A whole ass wagon, dude. <laughs> it's, it's pretty freaking awesome. It's, like it's, to pull up with a legit like, this has got off-road tires. Yeah, no, just definitely getting weird looks from everybody in the post office slash oh. the little lady. And it's just very... Very, very interesting stuff. <laughs> wow. Haha, <laughs> send Annie to deal with the grumpy post workers. No, she's super nice. Oh, my goodness. Keeps buffering, lads. Still buffering. Buffering audio-wise or? It sounds good. Still too choppy. What is too choppy about it? Is is the sound choppy or is the, 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 um, the video choppy? Buffering. Yeah, big floor definitely say buffering. Here, I'm gonna try to get off the Wi Fi. Kaylin, you mind getting off the Wi Fi? Yeah, Kimberly said Kimberlina Bambina said not buffering on my end. You might have a truck next time, says Garrett. A truck. Wow, that's so funny. Yeah, very potentially. Yeah, um I'm not sure why it's it buffered for me just now, real quick. Now videos are buffering about every 30 seconds to a minute. Whole stream audio. Okay. Well, some people are saying that they refreshed it and it got better. So, hmm. working fine from here. If it's if it's buffering, try to do like a refresh and let us know if it like works. Okay. If not, we have some ways we can handle it. But how, how do we handle it? Well, we can go to the blue mics. But do you think how how would the blue mics affect like the the video, you know what I mean? It's not the audio, it's the video. Oh, I don't know things. So that's Let where I see. stop and start knowing things. Right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
Yeah, so for those of you who are new to any streams with us, we have literally, and I'll say this with confidence and pride, the worst streams in the game. Okay. Because we're just, we're really committed to excellence here. It's just Andy just watching our own video back. Yeah. Dude, riveting content. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you guys ask some questions while we're trying to get people in here and, and figure out what's going on? Michael uh, Lorden says, what's up from Orlando from the other side of I-4? I'm out there all the time, dude. Probably see me walking around. Yeah. Hey, James, uh, come over here. Little brother's in the building. He's going to help uh, hand stuff. Dude, you're looking fly. Would you just take a shower? Yeah, he did. I like, I like the jacket and the joggers. All right, come on, camera. The refresh worked. I like how he stood right in front of me. He's like, "I'll yeah. take, I'll take over." Take, take the, take the shot from him. Yeah. Oh, you can be in there. You can get in here for a minute. Get a little squat. Get a little squat. Give us a little squat in the middle. Not too low. There you go. Yeah, that's perfect. How do you like it? Do you like the new set? Yeah. How do you like that jacket? That's a pretty dope jacket. Where'd you get it? Yo, oh, London. <sighs> Traveled already. Dude, you're going to be spicy with the ladies, huh? Yeah, everyone's saying the refresh worked. So if, you're, if your shit is a little little buffery, give it a good refresh. Give people it a good saying, good little people on that are saying, refresh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the one button that goes bloop with the, with the arrow. Buffering is good for headaches. Sure. <sighs> All right, uh, why don't you guys ask some questions, and then we'll get to opening some cool stuff. And he's not nearly drunk enough. <laughs> that's That's facts. <laughs> Oh, dude, Jim said uh, maybe if the rest of us load up on whiskey, it'll balance everything out. That makes sense. Very potentially. Load balancing. All right. So ask us some questions. Jamie, I want you to go grab two things over there and bring them to us. Are we going to mix our Rokoi with our, with our whiskey now? Okay, so we've been doing this thing, guys. Uh, you could obviously hate on us for it. We can drink whiskey neat. Well, at least I like it neat. Uh, he likes it on the rocks. Uh, we, every once in a while, we've been doing a thing where we do – because <laughs> I've been slamming LaCroix, like just sparkling waters, hardcore. And so we've been mixing them with our whiskeys, which seems not the best, but dude, tastes so good. Tastes so good. The sweet, sometimes the, your whiskey's a little too sweet, and it kind of like dissipates the sweetness across, it really does. across like sparkling water a little yeah, bit. Yeah, because you get the whiskey flavoring without some of those like too sweet notes, which is weird to say for whiskey. And then, and then it has bubbles. And then it also has bubbles. So we're actually going to pour myself yeah. a little more from the top. Me too, a little bit. Give you a little bit more. <laughs> we are drinking, I think, Angel's Envy. Oh, that poured you way too much. Whatever. Okay. Angel's Envy, yeah. Angel's Envy. This is not how bartenders pour, but I'm not a bartender. All right, so let's see. Funny. Can that kid fix the internet at your little brother? Oh, yeah, probably not. Dude, we upgraded the internet like crazy in here. It's like working on our end has yeah. what seems to be like impeccable. We had, what, a Spectrum guy come out. He had to. He had to literally go oh under under his driveway and get a pipe under there because the spectrum guy was like, "Listen, we can get Wi-Fi out there, but you have to go under your driveway." It was. It, it's like this eight foot like concrete slab has to yeah. go under it with a pipe. And he was legit like, "Listen, uh, we're not doing that." And I was like, "Is there anybody I can pay to do that?" He's like, "No." He's like, "Nobody no. wants to do that." Nobody wants to do that. And so I had to do it myself. Yeah, like basically we have like two modems out here. Yeah, or something. yeah, it's a whole upgrade. It's a whole, it's a whole ass thing. Oh, who is that? Do we get super chatted? Meg Galvis. When are you gonna do Ario Speedwagon? They're the ones that I, th I think they have that song Golden Country or some shit that I heard. Uh, we we did a live performance or we, we saw yeah. something like that. I don't know. We should. What's a good uh, Meg? What's a good uh, what's a good Ario Speedwagon song? I know, I know, my stepfather loves that band. Ooh, SF Club, real fast. He said, "Why no meatloaf?" Why no meatloaf? They're coming. They're coming. That's, that's a dude from the movie Tenacious D. He's the one singing, right? I, I actually have a huge thing for like a couple meatloaf songs. Actually, one specific meatloaf song. Really? Two out of three ain't bad. Dude, the saddest song ever. It's the first song I ever got drunk to and like cried over a girl with. Really? It's, dude, it'll be a great story. It'll be a story time with Alex for sure. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard any meatloaf songs, but I've only heard like cool things about them. All right. So, ooh, I do Mandarin, Orange, Sparkling Water, and Malibu Rum. That sounds good. Can you give us an example of a song you consider a C? Um. Oh, dude! All these people are sending us cool stuff. Raphael Van Dunn, how's it going? Sending these stickers, dude. This is so cool. So it's the first time I've ever seen any of these stickers come through. The best whiskey is the whiskey you like, the way you like to drink it, dude. Michael, straight facts, dude. He's consistently, always in our chat, spitting facts. Yeah, one hundred percent. Damn, dude. 
Um, I don't know any particular C songs. Definitely like back when I was exploring a bunch of early Floyd. I'm sure there were like C's like scattered all throughout there. You know. Yeah. Like, when you go that far back in a band's discography, there's always gonna be like some weird stuff. You know, but also like really cool gems at the same time. But if like. Usually, a lot of the a lot of the things we've been covering recently, like these past, let's just say four months, a lot of it's been really good suggestions. So there hasn't just been, you know, really C material on the channel. I feel like. Yeah, but I mean that's the nature of you guys giving us great songs is that we're probably not going to hit sh shitty ones. Um, yeah. But that being said, we also did talk about because this was an issue for us uh, rating wise. So we rated Black Betty and S. Yeah. Then we did. Uh, what was the last one we did where we were like, okay, this is not. The same S was it ELO? Yeah, well, ELO ELO got like I think like an A plus and Black Betty got an S. I think it, it, it confused a lot of people. Yeah, because the thing is, it's like ultimately the ELO song is definitely a better song. Like when you look at it yep. like objectively, but it's, it's almost like we heard ELO, we heard the class of the instrumentation, the production, the writing, and we immediately I think held them to such a higher standard on like yeah so like, like I I think the A plus for ELO is like still like above the s for black betty if that makes sense it's a like, weird thing it's a category so it's like are you going to like if you're listening to like an old delta blues artist or is is that as good technicality wise like picturesque beauty of that music compared to like i don't know something the beatles did well the beatles probably sound i mean some people would probably say the the blues artists are like oh that's way better but i think most people would be like okay the production for the other people is better this instrumentation is better they're doing more technical stuff so it's like one is like it's its own it's its own categories. It's hard when you start mixing like that. So like a Black Betty, there's not too much I could think that would have made that song any better. It's like Black Betty's like the reason why at least I validate it as an S. It's like you go to Alabama. It's that time period. <laughs> yeah. You go in a bar. You're drunk off beer or whiskey or whatever you're drinking, and then a band comes out and plays a song like that. It just doesn't get better than that. For like, it really like, a, like a 500 mile radius. No. It doesn't get better than that, and that's why it's like an S in that field. But if you yeah. start to compare Black Betty to songs of a like or bands that you, of like a higher class, it just gets kind of weird. Like a Rush S is not a Black Betty S. It's, it's true. like you can't like you know it's it's like a Rush A is higher than a Black Betty S. You know, I would agree. If you just I don't know, but like at least it made sense in our heads. But I see how that could have been like very confusing for a lot of people in terms of like the inconsistency of the r objectiveness of the rating when you compare it here real fast i want to say nancy ives uh sent something from moody blues so nancy we've gotten that a ton and i think we've gotten a moody blues record we, we got a record a threshold of a dream and i definitely listened to the whole record it, was, really? it was very cool it was very cool okay so um, very chill is moody blues is that an album or is that a band it's a band moody blues um it's a band um and the album that we got for them was a threshold of a dream i think and that's what i listened to Okay, uh, Nancy, why don't you go ahead and tell us in a comment down below uh, what album would be your favorite to go through? Maybe some other, like, on Moody Blues. Mm. Um, okay, and then also, Meg Galvis. Man, there's so many people sending us stuff. Don't let him go riding the, uh, the storm out. Heard it from a friend, Ario Speedwagon. So uh, don't let him go and riding, riding the storm out. Both those sound cool. I mean, like, Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm yeah. by the so, Doors. I feel like it's going to be nothing like that. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but the the song title is cool. It seems like a cool song name. All right, I'm going to grab a couple of those things from Jamie. I'm going to be right back. Why don't I just have him hand it to you? Because I want to turn off that. Oh, oh. I'm just chilling here, waiting for my partner to return, grabbing some stuff. We got we got Alex running around the studio barefoot, guys. Per usual, per usual. Bro, it's indoors. What are you talking about? <laughs> All right, bring him here. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, I'll take this one because I like the Holy bigger. Holy shit, dude! This person, this person, White Tornado six oh three, just sent us a fifty dollar like you know, super chat gif. Bro, thing. you don't need to do that, but we love you for it. Yo, I appreciate that so much. Yeah, thank you. Holy Here's what shit. I'll say. Uh, you got that one. I got this one. I'm not going to say anything about the size difference of our packages, but I, what I will say your is... Your package is definitely bigger than mine in this situation for sure, dude. In most situations. So let's get Aww. down to opening it up. Ooh, what is in here? Bro. I'm trying okay. to look for someone's name. Rox Minio. Do I have a name on my... Oh, so this is from Patrick Turnbull. So thank you so much, Patrick, ahead of time real quick. All right, so we're going to open up some stuff. I'm going to hand my phone to my darling assistant, my little brother over here. And uh, awesome. Jamie, you can grab us some more stuff. But I also, if anybody has a cool comment that you want to maybe read out to us, ask us a question, 
It's going to be sent through him. So nobody sent anything bad because his brother's watching. Yeah, what he said. Okay. All right. Also, we're not going to be reading, like, letters or long things of text on the stream this time, okay? Just so this time. Anything text, it's going to be put to the side along with the item, and we will make sure to 1 million percent read it after. Yeah. That way we can sit, and if it's a heartfelt letter, we'll cry yeah, about we, it. Yeah, we want to give it the time it deserves. Yeah, you know? we'll cry. We usually cry when we read letters, even if it's a happy letter. What is in there? Is that soap? Bro. Oh, my goodness. I think these are, like, fossils, dude. No way. Bro, I used I'm to, so serious. Bro, I used to I collect think, fossils when I was a kid. I used to go. Dude, I think these are fossils. Oh, man. That would that would make like, eight-year-old me so freaking excited. It makes me excited at 22. I'm trying to be careful with these. Oh, my goodness. Definitely a oh fossil. Oh, my gosh. Jamie, come here. Go flash these in the camera. So Bro, show this, this is so cool. You're getting fossils, dude. Holy cow. Heck? To kind of get this up there a little bit. Actually, I can kind of do it. So I don't know what that is. It looks like fish. Do you take a look at it? Okay, oh my so goodness. Sh sh pull this in the camera a little, little farther so you can see it. Lovely assistant, Jamie. Okay, so uh, quick backstory while he's unwrapping those. So you're good. Uh, my grandma, beautiful, amazing grandma, Gummy is what we call her. Uh, oh, shark's teeth, cool. Dude. She was a chemistry teacher, uh, an AP chemistry teacher, and so she used to do experience, uh, experiments with me growing up all the time. Like, she would sneak home and, like, sneak potassium from the school, and we'd throw potassium in the pool and let it explode, like, catch fire in the pool. And so she developed me really early into a love of uh, scientific sort of stuff. I remember going, like, uh, megalodon teeth hunting, like, in a, in a river somewhere with her. And so growing up, I loved fossils. I had a whole bunch of, like, I think you still have one of my, like, the shark, the big shark's jaw with the teeth in it. Yeah, that was mine growing up. And I got that because I loved it. Now Jamie has it in his room. Um, but that is so cool. That, yeah, he sent us a bunch like, of fossils. And in that letter he sent us, he said he has details on each fossil and like what it is and where it's damn. from and stuff like that. So thank you so much, Patrick. That's, Gosh, a, that's a cool That's, that's a cool-ass cool gift. That's also, cool. heads up, we are definitely going to be putting some stuff on the walls. Knickknacks, bro. Knickknacks, patty wax, and dogs with bones. So uh, probably some albums on that side. Maybe some stuff on the wall back here. So any cool stuff we get in, we have some. We got one thing that we opened already that we'll show in a bit. Uh, that is maybe the coolest thing anyone's ever gotten, me or anybody close to me. Definitely uh, very cool. But so we'll show that in a second. Did you see who that's from or no? I didn't see one in here, but it okay. looks like there is a letter. Oh my gosh, this is like the coolest done out letter. Here, figure out who that is from. I'm gonna open this up. What is this? Is this alcohol? Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Blanton's. Oh, I have definitely heard of this. Holy cow. That looks intense. The bourbon whiskey dumped on... Say it again. What did he say? Oh, John Lennon? The Rolling Stones Between the Buttons album? Go, go ahead and screenshot that so I have that for the future. Okay. Got some $2 bills in here. Oh, my God. I love $2 bills. $2 bills. Sorry. Dude, no, sorry. did he write that or did he type it out? It's a she. This is from oh, Shayla. She? Shayla? Shayla. Yep. So we will read this off camera. Is it typed out? I don't. Let me check real quick. Because it, if it's not typed out, that is the most impressive handwriting I've ever seen in my entire life. This definitely looks like a font. Okay. It looks like a font. But If you wrote this out, holy cow. It looks printed, but I'm not. I, it could be. I think it's printed. Have you guys had Blanton's before? Is it good? I mean, we'll try it. We'll definitely try it. I like how it says 46.5% alcohol content. They were like, that half really matters. 46 and a half. Yeah. That's gonna, a cool looking bottle. Dude, I'm going to set that right here because that's sphere. cool as crap. Let's take a sip. Yeah, that, that'll probably be in the next video. We'll have some of that. Oh, dude. With some LaCroix in there? Bro, that's, that's, that's a big boy move. A big boy move? Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, you got your phone up there you see anything cool because i want i don't want to miss any questions i want to be active with these guys this is fair patrick so unique love it at the fossils cars fossil fish humping if those were two fish humping that is really cool dude it seems like that would be a really bad way to end or maybe a good way that's a very cool way to end what do you mean dude dude i don't want to i don't want to end in my favorite activity what you want to end in a terrible activity yeah why? Because it's already bad. I mean... I don't want to ruin the good activity. I guess. Like, if you were in the <laughs> middle of, like... Let, all right, picture this. You would stay up for, like, 
24 hours straight. You're in the yeah. middle of the most intense math exam you've ever done, and you're stressing yeah. out. You're like, oh, my God, I just – I don't know if I can do that, and bullet hits you. It's like kill me now kind of thing? You're like, oh, I didn't even have to do that crappy thing anymore. But imagine you are now – let's say you're about to be uh, – you're about to – go to a Pink Floyd concert. All of a sudden, David Gilmore sees you in the crowd and he's like, hey, you look pretty awesome. Why don't you come on stage and play with us? And you're like, no way. And you get ready and get on a stage and the second you put on a guitar, bullet in the head and you're done. Or heart attack Damn. or something. Damn. You know what? I think you might be right. Yeah, I usually am. I think <laughs> I think you're right on this one. <laughs> Guys, what do, what do you think? Is, is Alex right on this? <laughs> I also know how to talk to make it sound like I'm right. I don't know if I'm right either. <laughs> I don't know if it's, I actually agree with myself. It made sense. It really did make sense. Okay, Jamie, why don't you bring up two more um, boxes? Again, oh, it, yes. again, if your video is buffering, go ahead and do a refresh, and people have said that that works. Yeah. And we'll continue to get better at this uh, periodically. Uh, ooh. Uh, it's my turn, sir. Uh, well. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. This is from Denver Kimberlin. Does it say it on here? Th I want to see who this one's from. Got some spacers. Kay. This looks like records. Ooh. Oh, there's a notebook. I think. There is a notebook. Oh, my goodness. This is a bunch of stuff. What's in here? Hey, there's like nothing in here. There's like a space holder. Let me see. This is also empty. I think it's just the binder. That okay? He's trying to keep it safe and secure. Here, let me see the phone, Jamie. While you're uh, this. while he's opening that up. Volume one, Captain Beyond, Captain Beyond, Captain Beyond. Sufficiently breathless uh, rush feedback from this cool symbol to Annie and Alex. So it has our logo at the bottom. That's kind of cool. That's cool. Volume one of something, and then. Has some stuff. Has a drive, and this is like a whole ass. This is a whole ass. Oh, it looks like a bunch of like lyrics and things like that. Here, set aside. Let's go read that's, into that. That's one of those where we we'll, spend we some time looking yeah, at it. off camera. That but that is super, super cool. cool. That's a lot of effort. Wow, that is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Steven Somerville. Any more? Also, thank you again for the super chat. Any more Bruce Springsteen on the channel? Yeah, we definitely plan on doing some more Bruce Springsteen. Yeah. Yep. 100%. He'll come around. We, we got a lot of like things that you want to hit first, but it's like he'll definitely come back. There will be yeah, facts. a a resurgence. One hundred percent facts. All right. All right. Let's look at this. Ooh. All right. This is from Suzanne Cole Rice, YouTube uh, subscriber and Patreon. All right. We're gonna go ahead and read this. Afterwards, but said it right off cam. Right, give it the attention and it, deserves. it deserves. But sent some Jethro Tull, and it looks like she even printed out the album covers and wow, cut them and put dude. them in there. That's awesome. So much of CDs. More Jethro Tull, it looks like. Dude, is this like most of Jethro Tull's career? Probably. Wow. Yeah. So we just got Jethro Tull's Dang. discography on CD. That's, That's cool. awesome. I love it when people like make their own thing. Hey, my beautiful mother. What? How are you doing? Good. She just walked in the studio. Oh, wow, that's awesome. All right. Let's go again. Now you got the bigger box. I'm excited. Wow. They even sent this cool uh this cool A plus thing right there. Oh wow. It's like a is this a, did they custom make that logo? That looks like a crazy expansion on our logo. Who's that's that pretty from? awesome. Who's that from? Is, it, is there a name anywhere on there? There definitely must be. I'm going to open this one first. I, wanna, I know it's your I wanna, turn, but I'm skipping good. ahead. <gasps> no freaking way, bro. What? What is it? He made us shirts with that awesome logo on it. Oh, shit. Really? Yes. Dude, that'll definitely get worn. These are oh also way cooler than the shirts that I'm currently wearing. We should just be wearing this. Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. All right. All right. There's a lot, there's a lot going on, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to move this out of the way. Well, Alex does that. I'm going to drink some whiskey. Wow. All right. So this, that's the logo. That is awesome. That is a really cool, like, that is awesome. expansion on what we've got going on. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. We might have dude. to freelance him and uh, give him a cut. Oh, bro, we got a white one, too? Wow. There's two of them in here. Dude, All right. that, wow. This dude went above and beyond. Above wow. and beyond to Call of Duty. Joe Satriani, uh, Satriani uh, surfing with the alien. I used to have a Joe Satriani guitar pedal. 
So that's really cool. I've heard none of his music. I just like the guitar pedal. Yeah. Who is this from? I need to find. Thank you, Deborah, for the super chat. You're a real one. Who sent this? Oh, all right. He got us. He sent a big ass folder. A manila envelope. Oh, oh, oh. all right. <clears throat> all right. So you guys can't see this. What's in the inside of this? It says your eyes only. It says your eyes only. And then he drew a cool dude. Whoever this is, he's an artist for sure, man. Yeah. Like it, when you can scribble a guy with like six lines. Greetings, I hope you enjoy the gifts. Maybe uh, you can work in a, in a theme concept for future shows. Love for listening to great music with you. And check out um, uh, Harry Hoey's, Linus and Lucy. I don't know if that's what it says. Probably. And Jesse Joy and the Man's Desire. Lori, a.k.a. the Hippie Chick. No way, that's so sweet. That's dope. That's, that's so awesome. Dope. And Michael, we have not listened to the CD yet, but we definitely will. Oh, my gosh. She asked for a theme night. Did she make this to be, like, the the cover for a theme night? That seems cool, dude. Oh, my goodness. Listen. Very graphic. Yo, Hippie Chick, why don't you hit us back up on Instagram? I know we talked to you on there, I think. Um, there's some cool stuff. We'll figure something out. We definitely want to use some of this in a cool way. There is a bunch of stuff in here, dude. Wow. Dude, that's awesome. So I think I already said who this is from. I don't think I saw a name on this one. Oh. Deborah, Deborah sent us ten dollars. She said, "Number one fan, dude. I can't argue it's with you, Deborah." Pretty contested, probably. It's, it's pretty contested. I'm not gonna argue with you. You can argue it out in the comments. Go fight it out. Doro Vars, greatest hits. Have you, have you heard of this? Have you heard of this person? Oh, one second before you say that, Damien. All right, so uh, Rocky Mountain High Chick said Damien Paris said he sent the Blantons. Damien, you are a freaking sweetheart. Dang, that's awesome. All right, continue. Live to rock, rock to live. Oh, dude, we got some embroidered patches. No, from this way. person. Yeah, so we have like, like these patches, these patches that go on like jackets and shit. Hey James, can you mind? Uh, oh my goodness, so much over. stuff. Band on the run. I'm pretty sure I've heard I, that song. I see Paul McCartney on the back. I th I think it's a single. Band I definitely Paul heard McCartney, the song. Linda McCartney, Denny Lane. Yeah, definitely got Paul McCartney involved in this. Wow. Okay, so we got that. And we now have some some uh, dog treats. Oh, my gosh. For Jack? This is for Jack, your dog, I think. Here you oh, go. my gosh. You Jack's going to love out. that. You also got a toy for him. No way. Yeah. Mom. <laughs> Jack got some stuff. He doesn't even know. Uh, I would give you credit for it, but he will not be able to understand that. So just know he'll enjoy it. And then there's a letter here, which will be later, but we see that this is from Lisa Crow. Thank you so much, Lisa. Take this. That's awesome. Dude, uh, well, apparently we know who Jack's number one fan is. That person. That person. <laughs> uh, Cherry Lisa. Noelke, uh, sorry if I butchered la your last name. She said, thanks for the fun, guys. Dude, thank you very much. We have 453 people in this chat. Yeah, there's, there's chilling. Elizabeth We're Sykes chilling. says hi to Alex's mom. Hi, Elizabeth Sykes. Can you hear that? She said hi. Wow. Morgan Anderson said, Alex will love the guitar tone uh, the Scorpions have. So the Scorpions have Rocky Like a Hurricane, right? Yes. Okay, so here's what I'll say about that song. Good song. I have heard it so, so much, I hate it now. Yeah. But that being said, I will not let it affect me exploring the Scorpions, especially if they've got really cool guitar tones, because it's a good song. I just It's been overplayed to me, yeah. but I'm very interested to explore the stuff that has not been overplayed. Yeah, this makes if that sense. makes sense. This makes sense. <sighs> all right, all right, Jamie, what, what else you got? Wow. Oh, that's good. Morgan Anderson said, put the shirts on. We'll definitely do a photo shoot after this with the shirts. We'll both put them on, get the one white one, one black one. But we're probably going to get a lot of cool stuff, and I don't want to make it take too long for you guys. This is from This is from Gerald, I believe. So that's cool. Wow. This box is like coming apart. David Ryder said they've they've done no Genesis. Um okay. We did we did one Genesis song on Patreon called That's All. Yeah. I think the next Genesis song we do will be first of the fifth or something like that. Yeah. It's on the radar, guys. I know a lot of you guys are asking for it, first of the fifth or whatever, or Supper's Ready. One of those tracks. Either way, one of those two will be coming on at some point. One hundred percent. Promise, promise, promise. So there's a thing that says not important and one that says more important. Wait, literally, it's like that's the so face. funny. So this is not important. 
And then we have the more important one. Okay. Why well, you want to try? Uh, Which one should you open first? The not important or more? Oh, important? Yeah, go. You go not important to important. Not that's important. how that works. Okay, that's what I'm going to try. Some whiskey. This is uh, our own concoction of sparkling water and some whiskey. What? Sparkling water. Sparkling water. Yeah. Say hi. Go lean in. So we have a letter from. Hi. Hey. How is it? Good. I like it. So also, side note, real fast. We are going to be dropping, and maybe we'll do it like a live stream exclusive so you guys know about it first. We're going to be dropping some exclusive merch pretty soon, some new pretty, pretty cool stuff. So um, now we might have to expand on design ideas, but that just know that's coming out pretty soon. Very cool. So we have a letter from this person, and it's like not just Gerald, but he goes by Gary. Gary? This is Gary. He sent us Riff Work, which never heard of that being in my life. This looks like a bunch of dads who picked up guitars. It seems cool. It seems cool. <laughs> Um, now let's do the, the more the more important thing that's going on here. Okay. Eh. Okay. Another thing which I will read a little later. Okay, and then I think this is a poster. Let's pull it out. Mom, since you are more adept with knowing what categories of stuff to put in. Oh, I don't know if I can show this. <laughs> this is um it looks like it's from the Queen Bicycle Race. And mm. these are, I'll show you, Alex. Look at these. Uh, I can already see the corners see? of this. You can see? Yeah, this, that's, 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 that's called that's demonetization right there. <laughs> wow. Okay. <laughs> so that's from Queen's um, yeah. <laughs> Bicycle Race, the, the music video, I guess. Yeah, so, so I'm sure if some, you've seen that, you know what is on there. Some spicy senoritas on bicycles. Um, can you, Mom, can you help sort some of this out? Treat it like Christmas. Kind of both, not more so the stuff we've opened because I just don't want to. I want to make sure that we don't lose any of the like what's to what. So, yeah. So I want to make sure we keep the letters with the things and the things with the letters. I don't want to get caught up in a big, big old mess. I don't want to get caught in a kerfuffle. Some, some ruckus. Oh, father and son reactions. Band on the uh, run is amazing. Very cool. All right, well, we'll definitely have to uh, check it out. I've heard the song "Band on the Run." I don't know if I've listened to it all the way through, but I definitely know the song. It's, band it's on the a run. band. Or, or an album, maybe. I but there's a single called that. Oh, I'm pretty sure. okay, okay. I'm pretty pretty confident in that. Um, also, I've seen this comment a few times. It's the guy who wrote us a rap on like that was. So he's cool. been asking us to do Sly and the Family Stones for a very long time, uh, and I want you to know we recognize it and we have read it and we see your comments and we will be doing Sly and the Family Stones. Factually, yeah. we will be doing them. I just don't know when, but we'll do them. All right, let me get let me get this stuff popping. Uh, this. Have a name that on was it? the one where on the top eight records video I did, he literally wrote a rap about me. Yeah. It was really cool. It was really it, cool. And it was something regarding spaghetti, and I was like, that's just cool. Like he said, caboose like spaghetti. Caboose like spaghetti. Yeah. yeah it was just like, uh, This is from Garrett Knott. This is in Cambridge, Ohio. All right. Let's check it out. Looks like many, many records. All right. Ooh. Bob Seger. Dang. Bob Seger looks pimping over there. Oh, dude. Let me see. Yeah. Oh, he's laying. Night moves. John Cougar Mellencamp. Dude, some people that we haven't really explored very heavily. Dude, there's so many artists. So, That's a so, cool, so many artists. That's a cool little thing. John Lennon, Double Fantasy, and Yoko Ono. Now, I've heard a lot of hate for those two. Um, really? Well, for Yoko, I think undeservingly, because, I mean, she gets blamed a lot for, like, the, oh, the, the band breaking up or whatever. I haven't explored any of their music together or... How is your album cover gonna gonna just be you guys kissing? That's kind of weird, bro. He's also like the most I, famous guy. I guess so, but I like how like uh like uh Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham did their debut album where they're kind of just like yeah, but they were not the most famous guy. Yeah, they just did it better. I, I don't know, man. They he it's dude weird. he could have done anything. It could have been a leaf in a pond, and it's like oh my yeah. Gosh. But of all the things, dude, you're just gonna be like doing a little smooch for your album cover. I mean, I guess yeah. It just seems pretentious. Who are you? So. Uh, that looks awesome. The Who, obviously. Oh yes, dude. Oh my goodness! Dang! And then the police, Ghost in the Machine, dude. We, uh, when's the police song coming out? The police song. Rock Wait, what'd you say, Man? mom? My mom loves this album. The police thing is coming out. I want to say next Friday, dude. Pfft. I want to oh say next God, Friday. It's so freaking good. Sorry to spoil it, guys, but you probably know Roxanne they, they slaps. Vote, they voted it in. Well, they I know, but sorry to spoil oh. it that it slaps so hard. Oh. <laughs> um. All right, and then Cheap Trick at Budokan. We've heard a lot about Cheap Trick. I saw Cheap Trick. Really? Wait. I saw them open up for Aerosmith. Um, really? I don't remember any of this because I didn't know the songs. So yeah. I was just excited to see Aerosmith. 
But uh, so I probably recognize at least a couple of the songs. Okay, that's cool. And then a letter in a cool font. Um, again, we'll read this. Go ahead and put that on top of there. Um, we Thank like to you. spend a little bit of time on each letter oh, yep. just so it's not so rushed. Thank you, Arthur, for the super chat. Bob Seeger, Billy Joel. We did Billy Joel on Patreon. We can't do them on YouTube because they totally get blocked and it sucks so badly. Bob Seeger will return. Jay Gills will return. Meatloaf will, ret- will come at some point. Rock Opera Tommy. Y'all want some full album. Dude, bro. a bunch of people are saying, hi, mom. They go, is that your mom? It is my mom. She's in the background. Say yeah, hi again. She, she's chilling. Hi. Yeah. She's got a beautiful voice. She has to uh Hey, is your mom still Oh, my God. She's oh. at half a face reveal. That's true. <laughs> Carl said, hey, is your mom single? She is single. So if you are a uh, beautiful, rich suitor, you got to be up to her standards, which are very high because she's obviously my mother. So <laughs> I don't know if you're in like a famous rock band. Who's your, who was your like crush, mom, when you were like growing up in the day? Was there like a rock star crush you had? John Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi. That sounds like what every woman yeah. her age has said. <laughs> I was one of those. Yeah. John Jovi. Uh, that seems fair, though. That's fair. Very charismatic. Yeah. John Bon Jovi. So yeah. So uh, Mr. Jovi, if you're watching... Wow. Okay. All right. More stuff, bro. All right, young, all, all right, young Jamie. Young man. Young boy. I'll let you do it. Okay. I hate opening them second. You're good. This is this is from uh, Robert Wainer. Oh, I shouldn't say last name. Sorry. This is CDs and a letter. Ooh, I I'll see put, Genesis. I'll put the letter on the side. I'll read that later. Give the attention it deserves. Thank you so much. And then, yes, we have w- not one, not two, but three Genesis CDs. I'm going to go ahead and just flash them so you guys can see them. There's this one. Dude, the hardest part of being on this channel, and it really is a difficult thing, is not being able to listen to music when you want to listen to music. Ugh. Yeah. Like, I can't tell you how many times I've had a friend be like, put a song in the car. I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> like, you can tell by the first 10 seconds, oh, this song is actually too good. Turn it off. Yeah. Like, it's yep. like, this isn't okay. It's like an issue. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Alex. Oh. Wow, I'm just like seeing all this cool stuff. Uh, is my original logo worth more now? Jazz Sauce, is my original logo shirt worth more now? It is worth more now. The stock price just went up on it because you have the original shirt logo. Oh, my goodness. Justin did a super chat for 50 bucks saying, does this buy a reaction to Def Leppard? It's another hit and runner coming fire. We'll think about it, but we definitely do not do um, paid reactions. We have people ask all the time. Um, it's because, like, Go ahead. So we just never want it to be a thing where it's like, okay, there's a few rich people who can afford to pay for a reaction that get their stuff. Yeah. That being said, we always want to make everyone as happy as possible, and we want to explore yeah. as much stuff. So we definitely do plan on exploring them. Yeah. Um, but definitely just, like, we, 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 only, we only post three videos a week, and so basically there is no price on our creative freedom to choose the three songs we do. And we, we've had people try. Yeah, people are like, we'll send you this much to do this. this much, it's, it's like, no, no, no. We only have three slots. We cannot afford to sell these slots, and we're, we have no intention on selling slots. Like, thank you. Def Leppard will probably come in the future, but I, I feel like that's, like, more like more into the 80s like that will probably come after we've kind of exhausted a lot of 70s and 60s stuff. And Maybe. We kind of just move See, on. See, I actually disagree with that. Go ahead. I think it's fair to explore a little bit of 80s stuff. Yeah. Um, Like, I, I, Springsteen was in the 80s, right? Maybe. I think so. And so it's, I, I definitely think... Uh, and I feel like the police were probably in the eighties, maybe. Probably. They Def Leppard like could definitely come soon. It's just I feel like we have a lot of things to hit. But yeah. It's like it's it definitely is on the radar, you know. For for sure. And we'll keep those songs in mind because those are not the normal ones that I've seen. Like I've seen Pyromania, I've seen that album, um, and I think they have another pretty big album. So these are Skull Shot Glasses. Do you want to see them? Yeah. Open them up. Get you a little taste. Wow, that's cool. Dude, that's awesome. That is very cool. You want to see it, Jamie? Skull whiskey You can't use this for like 10 years. How does that feel? Oh, damn. You're rubbing it in his face, man. I'm rubbing his face all day. That didn't sound right. That's okay. (laughs) Get your mind out of the gutter, bro. (laughs) Who is this from? Woo! Um, This is from Jennifer Wartina. Yep. Oh, my gosh, guys. Guess who's interrupting it again? Beryl, can you not can you not interrupt our brilliant live stream anymore? Oh fuck! What time <laughs> <laughs> You're on speaker, by the way. Live. Yes. Yeah, about 500 people. About 500 people. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so you night. Say it again. I said hello, everybody. 
everybody. <laughs> I thought you said something about a guitarist. This is the guitarist. All right, you have brilliant words. I can see why you play guitar. Um, all right, I'll call you later, okay? All right, talk to you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, that, so that's Barrel, guys. Yeah, consistently interrupts everything we ever do. Guitarist of Kings and Culprits. True. All right, I'm going to put this here. I think it was Jennifer that sent that. Put that over there, but I'll keep this little... This table's going to get full very quickly. Yeah. All, all right, young Jamie. <sighs> reeling, reeling in the years. Stowing away the time. I'll take that. Oh, you wanted that one because it has a cool shape, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he also handed it to me. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Super well, chat. Mine, well, mine's definitely whiskey. Mine's definitely whiskey. That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, this is from Murr Rockstro. Sent a $25 super chat. I'm what my, my wife calls your target demographic. Born in the 60s, grew up on the music from the late 60s through the 70s. Went to my first concert in 1976. It was Kiss. I re uh, relive hearing... The song for the first time through you, dude. That's so awesome. That's awesome. I I really love that we can help people like explore the like. It's like a rehashing of exploring what you already get to have. So it's like yeah. uh, to me, it's like an even greater form of nostalgia because it's yeah. not just like man, I've heard this and you've heard it. It's like oh my god, I get to show you how cool this thing is yeah. that you've and, and never seen. And it's also seen. like a bridge between generations. Like, it's yeah. just like a very cool thing. Cause think of how many people like our viewers have like potentially tried to show this music to either their kids or their grandkids, and they totally just go. Yeah, but I don't like this. And then they just completely like hush it off, and we kind of like approach it humbly, and it's just kind of like I, I get it, and I, I I'm just super happy to be able to provide. Yeah, the vibes, dude. Yeah, you know, cool ass vibes. So thank you very much, Mur. That is awesome. Oh, so this is not whiskey. Let me Ooh. see who it's from real quick. Oh, so you were wrong. I was definitely wrong. It happens from time to time. This is most definitely a lava lamp. We got one last time, but now we have two lava lamps. Now we have two. Now we got we got to find an area in the space to kind of have like um, lava lamp area sy symmetry, where it's like two lava lamps, mainly by the TV or something. Dude, so many people are saying hi, mom. Hi, your mom is a is a star. Uh, she loves the attention. Yo, mom. Mom, sassy. She's getting all of it. Show mom. That's what Abby Williams said. Wow. Somebody said hubba hubba, just by the voice, Andrew. They sound like one eyeball. Yeah. I guess you're just that cute. Somebody else said, hi, Jamie. Wow, okay. Let's do this. Oh, somebody else said, Bon Jovi got huge when I was in sixth grade. She's my age. All right, nice. let's, let's look in here. Ooh, was it, you were in high school? Oh. Dang, so there's still a decent amount of stuff over there, dude. It's an issue. Don't ask about it right now. I think we're going to rec also record a video of like highlights from this and post it, like a, a thing from it probably wow. later. Who's it from? I, it didn't sign it on there. Oh, bro. Steve Ray Vaughn, uh, Double Trouble, live from Austin, Texas. And then... It's one of your favorite guitarists. It, it's my favorite guitarist. Um, and then Texas Flood, the inside story of Steve Ray Vaughn. That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's legit my favorite guitarist. Dang, how are you going to have a whole ass book on... Oh, it's just the whole story of Steve Ray Vaughn. Okay, I thought, I thought you meant just in a song. I, I thought it was just about Texas Flood. I'm like, how are you going to write a whole book about one song? I'm trying to find... Okay, that's cool. That's really I don't see cool. a name on here, so I'm really, really sorry for not being able to say your name. Hey, if you ever send us anything, just write your name on the box so I can be like, hey, you rock. Uh, oh, almost right off the address. You're from uh, Texas, though. So, cool. If you're, from, if you're from Texas and you send us that stuff, oh, Texas Flood. That's cool. I wonder if it's, it's, if it's like an even bigger thing when you're from. It's got to be, right? I'm sure it is. Like, imagine you're in the culture that kind of propounded him to stardom. Like, that in yeah. from Texas. It's like a whole, like... A whole thing, I'm sure, you know? Yeah. Oh, all right. All right, well, young Jamie. Young Jamie. Okay, I'll take the small one. Oh, this is cool. Thank I wonder you. what this is. From Ken Bassert. This is from... It's definitely from Great Britain, but I don't see the name. Okay, that's okay. Sorry, person. This is Little Feet Dixie Chicken. Dixie Chicken? I'm guessing this is definitely nothing like the Dixie Chicks. Mom, you love the Dixie Chicks, right? I do, but I think they're now called the Chicks. The Chicks? Oh. Okay. Either way, so this is probably, I'm guessing, completely different. Dixie Chicken. All right. Yeah, Dixie Chicken. Not not to roast a man at all, but if you're going to make a band, like, why would you call it the Dixie Chicken? I'm not, I'm not hating on it. Like, Maybe it would I, not maybe, be my first choice. No. Maybe I have to listen to it. Maybe it'll all make sense. But like, if I'm going to form a band, I feel like that's the last thing I would call a band. Not the last thing, but like, mi definitely, like, here's the middle ground. Definitely a little bit below middle ground. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would agree with that too. But also, I, I assume it's probably maybe like a southern rock thing or maybe. like a country thing. So that could be it. Um, Michael Carr said, "So if I gave you a million dollars to review a song, you wouldn't do it. We would definitely do it for a million. All right, there's here, a price. Here, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> so if you gave a, if you gave us a million dollars and it was a song we were already going to do, then yes. I'll speak for myself here. If you gave me a million dollars to review, you'll do any song. You yelling into a jar for six minutes. I would have to think of all the things. Honestly, that- that's fair. And I think all our subscribers would like probably you know be like, you know what? It makes sense. Yeah, it's a billion dollars. You yeah. Know what I mean." So, uh, anyways, that being said, if you have a million free dollars, uh, but if it's not a million dollars, then probably not. Give them a million and see. Yeah, let's test it out. Nine hundred thousand? No. Yeah. You know what I mean? um, yeah, my mom will review any song. You can scream into a jar for that. Okay. Ooh, five hundred viewers right now. Does Jamie like any classic rock artists, and if so, which ones? He liked the Boston song we showed him. Yeah. And other than that, there's been mainly you've you have borderline failed as a brother, bro. Oh, I would say I probably have, yeah. Because you've shown because you got him on really good modern rock bands like Imagine mm-hmm. Dragons and, the, and just yeah. like a lot of modern. I like, showed him artists. some Zeppelin. You know some Zeppelin. Yeah. So you like Zeppelin? Yeah. I think. Yeah. Have I shown you any Rush? I think like one or two songs. One or two Rush songs. Oh my, bro. Yeah, it's true. I need to get on that. Hey, it's your job too. Bro, it He's is your adoptee too. brother. That's true. That's true. Ooh, Lisa said, hey, Beryl, you almost got the spelling right because she asked about the spelling. It's only one R, B-E-R-Y-L. That's how you yeah. do Beryl. Yeah, funky All right. name. Let's open this thing up. I bet you $20 in CD. Bro. <laughs> Let me open this up and then make that bet. I'm not going to make that bet. <laughs> For Andy and Alex from Kia. And here's the track list. What else we got? We, some Genesis, some Joe Walsh, Neil Young. Oh, it's like a mix. Mott the Hoople. Dude, this is like a mixtape. Mott the Hoople. I hope, I hope she has like a, a thing for us, or he. I don't know. He or she. Key is kind of ambiguous. Todd Rundgren, and then a nice-ass letter. So we'll hand that off. Awesome. Thank you so much. Whew. Sorry about the hitting the mic. Oh, my God, guys. Sushi just got here. Yeah, we just ordered some sushi. <laughs> Girls, you want to say hi on the camera And since you got sushi for us? Oh my god, right. I'm so freaking hungry. I haven't eaten all day today. You're gonna see the the sushi deliver people. Oh, you don't have to, you don't have to open it. You don't have to like show the sushi because we'll we'll finish this up and then we'll do it. No, just show your faces. Yeah, just just you can hold the sushi. This is, these are the sushi ladies. These are the in-house sushi assistants. Gotta give a good squat. That's Kaylin. Over here. Hello, y'all. And that's Hello. Sarah. So so they brought the sushi. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, about to knock over our stuff, Sarah. Jeez. Sorry, are you doing, we're about to get like 100 comments like, get the girls back in the shot. I know. <laughs> Apparently, we're not pretty enough. <laughs> All right. So that, that's just how it goes. That's just how it yeah. goes. It's okay. I think I'm pretty for a guy. Did you open this already? Or is this one you hadn't opened yet? This is from... You did not pre-open this one, I don't G. Believe. Gormier. Oh, you did. Oh, I, I definitely wrong. butchered this person's name. I feel so bad, dude. Okay, so Just like leave it somewhere... Somewhere. We'll hit the sushi soon. Sushi yeah. will be a thing. There's just so much here. If you're wondering what kind of sushi I got, I don't, I don't know what the roll was called, but it has uh, spicy smoked salmon, avocado, cream cheese, I think. It was like a Philly roll, like a spicy Philly, Philly, Philly roll. roll. Yeah. This is from Greg. Thank you so much, Greg. But let, let me see what we got here. We have, oh my goodness, dude. So this is like a DVD, 30, a 30th anniversary world tour rush. Oh, this is like live, like a DVD, dude. That's awesome. Rush. Oh, wow, my that, I love goodness. the cover of that. And this is Rush, Snakes and Arrows, live. So a bunch of Rush stuff. Rush, the Time Machine, like, live DVD. Rush, Clockwork Angels tour. So a bunch of Rush footage. I saw this them on the Clockwork Angels tour. Cool. I saw them on that tour. Is that when you went and mm-hmm. saw them? Yeah. And you're like, how are you? You're like, what, like 11 or something? How old was I, Mom? Do you remember when you, how old was I when you took me to see Rush? Tough question. 14, maybe? Okay. What were you saying? You said something earlier. Okay, so that's what I said. That's that's exactly what I said. So they got all mad at me. They were like, James, because we did a, a, a song, a Neil Young song, where James Taylor was uh, was like playing banjo on it. And I was like, yeah, so I guess uh, James Taylor, who is some songwriter, uh, he's a songwriter, I guess, was, he's a songwriter, well, he I guess. He was the banjo guy on the yes. Neil Young song. And so I said, he's a songwriter, I guess. My mom likes him. And, and everybody was like, like, James Taylor is a legendary. Yeah. 
It's like it feels so. so like, I love. It. I saw. So comment. that's why. That's where I got it. Yeah, I saw a comment. Where it's it's like, have you guys ever felt old until you saw like Andrew and Alex not knowing who James Taylor was? Yeah. It's like, it's like you feel old yet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is from Jeff Reed. This is a cool padded box. This is a different. Who? What is shipping company? Is this? Is this for Australia? Bro, no wonder I didn't know. This is from Wagga Wagga. Wagga Wagga. New South Wales. Wow. Holy cow. All right. So awesome. We got some stuff from Australia. I'm hoping these are Australian bands. All right. Midnight Owl, Head Injuries. Um, The Angels, The Greatest Hits, 40 Years of Rock. Australian Crawl, The Greatest Hits. So as I had guessed, these were Australian bands. And the best of Cold Chisel. Cold Chisel. Cold, that's that's a, a cool band name. That's a cool. That's a cool Cold name. Cold Chisel. What? Wow. All right. Good day. He called it. He said, "Good day, you blokes, dude." Hey, anybody blokes? calls us oh, blokes. I love I'm it. So I into love that. It. Blokes and gents. You blokes call us and gents, gents like... dude. You have my attention all day. Yeah, absolutely. What did Mikey have to say? Hey guys, it's SRV here. Can I have your credit card and details? So I need to buy a new guitar. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, uh, just go sure. ahead and message us privately. We'll send you all of our credit card details. Yep, and social. And social. Mother's maiden name. <laughs> Mother's maiden name. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. Okay. Oh, goodness Thank gracious. You, Jamie. Dude, this is like an intense opening. Dude, I love it. It's, it's like music Christmas. It's just like... Somebody just talked about the Dixie Chickens. Oh, um... They want my mom too. Yeah, my mom has a, a you know a, a guy you know. Oh yeah, yeah. Where she, is she, she from? Where's she remarried? He's from he's from the Netherlands or Holland? I forget which one. But he speaks Dutch. Deutsch. Deutsch. Dutch. I don't know. Um, he's definitely from Holland though. Holland. You ever, you ever uh, been with a person from the Netherlands or, or Dutch? No. Any interest? And somebody who's Dutch? I've heard they're pretty people. So here we have there's there's no name on it. Here we have. Uh, a Webster's Pocket Dictionary. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure it's for you. Oh, dude, it definitely is for me. I can barely speak. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. I'm surprised you could read the Pocket Dictionary. Oh, F you. Too far, man. Too far. There's boundaries. Did you say F you because you couldn't think of the full word? <laughs> yes. <or what? laughs> exactly. So this is a record. I love how like Amazon be freaking like, no, folding, they have it on point. like folding yeah. the vinyls. This is so cool. Oh, speaking of Def Leppard. Dang, did we get a Dev Leopard? We're going to have to do yes, Dev Leopard. at some point. This is... That's just the universe telling us to do Dev Leopard. High and Dry? High and Dry. Def Leopard. The only song I know by them is... I know two songs. The the Pour Some Sugar on Me. Yeah. I know that song. And then Love Bites. Love Bleeds. I've heard that, that one too. That song. I think that's the only two songs I know from them. I've definitely heard a few more from whenever they're, whatever they're bigger. Like they have two really big albums. Yeah. And I've definitely heard a couple from those. I remember as a child really enjoying those two songs. In terms of like being like gateway songs to get a kid into didn't, rock that would eventually lead me to this type of stuff. It's didn't gateway, Jamie, gateway. mom, didn't Jamie used to love Pour Some Sugar on Me? It was his favorite song, so he does know some rock. That was his favorite song growing up. And by the way, somebody left a comment. They said Dixie Chicken was a song. Oh. The band is called Little Feet. Oh, Little way Feet. better. That's a way better way fan better. name. Okay. Way better. I agree okay. with that. Okay, they're cool. They're cool. Oh, this is James Gecko. There were two shot glasses with the T-shirts. Be ashamed if they were actually thrown out. Um, we didn't throw out the boxes. They're just there, so nothing's gonna be thrown out. We always check it. Uh, double check everything. Um, James Gecko. So you were the ones who sent the T-shirts. Please message us on Instagram because those were absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely yeah, if phenomenal. If you're trying to get hired for, for design work. Yeah, you know, then we will a, definitely do a, some of that. Hit us up. Yeah, so James Gecko, thank you very much. Um, I think we're lagging a little bit in the chat. I haven't seen anybody mention buffering. but I'm not sure. Oh, mom got him. Thank you very much. Oh, the shot glasses. Yeah, let, let's put nice. them on there so we can show them. No, that's, a, cool. that's a second. That's something else. No, these were in the box with the t-shirts. Oh, they were? Yeah. So we got sent two skull shot glasses? Two different skull I, I shot glasses? I love how this skull shot glass is like a skull on the outside, and it's the inside of the skull, whereas the other glass, it's like a regular glass, but the end well, is the skull. Dude, we can drink out of so many people's dead bodies, partially. Yeah. Um, There's okay. a lot of stuff in there going on. Oh, dude, I think this is kind of for you. What I mean, it's for both of us, but I, I really appreciate it. I, I, I'll. So this is from M, MK, is all it says. It's Money Management Skills Course, Understanding Investments. <sighs> Uh, 365 ways to live cheap, and it's got a bunch of things in here. Maybe videos. Yeah, 
It's going to help me be a millionaire by 30. Yeah. And well, because I, I, you, you know, you've been recently doing a lot of self help stuff. And I think we both have kind of um, reading a lot of those books. We've read the habits, Atomic Habits. Atomic Habits, yeah. And dude, it's been pretty life changing. It's It's been pretty significant. Um, and this is The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Um, so also just read, what's the book called? How to Win Friends and Influence People. Yeah. Cool, cool ass. Wow. So I think that's really cool that, that at least the, what I got out of that is I think they're recognizing at our, least your interest. interest in it. Because they might not know mine because I haven't really done anything for it, but I've gotten it from you. Yeah. So I think that's really, really cool. Financial education package, make the world better. I'm definitely going to read this yeah. off camera. Give yeah. It, give it the attention it deserves. Thank so, you so much, man. Yeah, we definitely try to read most of the books we get, although we've been getting them pretty fast, so it's hard to keep <sighs> up. And y'all know I can't read like that. It's the audio books. <laughs> yeah, okay, so Lee Troy said, do you guys actually read all the letters you get? Yeah, every single yes, one of them. Yes, 1 million percent and read all the letters. To, we used to read them on camera, but uh, it just it just takes too long, and I don't want to ever feel rushed reading through it. Yeah, I want to take our time to read through each letter, make sure it gets the attention it deserves, and not yeah. just rush through it on camera. You know. Yeah, so. so if you send us letter, like you don't have to send a present to get a letter sent. Just send a letter. You like, can we just love send a reading. letter, yeah, yeah, completely. We love reading those. Oh, Carol Garten Long said, "Don't ever cut your hair, Alex." Well, I just did. He definitely can't cut his hair. I, we've we've had conversations where I'm like, Alex, at this point in our YouTube career, if you cut your hair, our brand's over. Our brand kind of does. You, you shatter. can't cut the hair because yeah. we have like the Eric Foreman me look, and then just you're like the like the '70s rocker. Yeah, like we technically. The Kelso, did Kelso we, have long hair? Kind of, but yours is longer than Kelso. It is longer. You're, than you're way cooler than Kelso. Kelso's a douchebag. He was you're kind cool. of a dumb douchebag. Yeah, but it's cool. He was fun though. He was. Fun. Uh, all right, let's. Uh, Liz said, M "Really missing your long hair." Well, blame Sarah. She's the one who cut my hair. If you're ever in Florida, she does haircuts. Yeah. Not just haircuts, I do everything. She has haircuts, I, makeup, any cosmetology, anything. Well, here's the deal. I only get haircuts, so my realm of knowledge is I just call it haircuts. So he, he can only effectively recommend your haircutting skills because he hasn't personally had you do makeup on him. That's true. Yeah, not yet, anyways. Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get these. I have a feeling – oh, Jamie wouldn't even hand me both of them. He wouldn't let me pick which one I wanted more. This is from William. Dude, William's a real one. Man, how am I going to open this? Oh, I'm sorry. With his brute. Oh, bro. Oh, dude, this dude shit's about to get real. So y'all you know, know how we just did? We really, we really did the most. We sat yeah. through and we took on the challenge of the epic of Carnival N 9. Carn- Oh my Car god, Carn Evil, but people says like Carnival. You know, you know how you mentioned. Uh, you just said that, and I was like, yep. "Oh my god!" You know how you mentioned? Sense. Yeah, Carn Carnival. Yep, brain salad surgery, dude. This is Whoa, cool. Is there like an indent on the top of that? Well, it's like just the way the album. Wow, like, works. that's so See how cool. it's kind of like ha it, it opens like that, bro. That's so awesome. Wow, EOP man. Wow, wow. Now we can listen to it. I listened to the radio edit the other day, just the five minute version yeah. of the second impression. Basically, a much more digestible version of the whole thing. <laughs> I'm glad we listened to the whole thing. I'm so glad we yeah, did. Yeah, it was really, you know really, I mean? really but like, cool. If, if you want to drive through town and just have like a five-ish minute version to get a, a very similar, to, to get what you want to get out of yeah. it, boom. The edit does does it justice. But definitely worth that full listen. Wow. All right. Okay, somebody said if you're going to use little feet, then you should be a dipsy chicken and to tripe face boogie. Tripe face boogie. Dude, that sounds like you'll F up a square dance. Bro, speaking of Emerson, Lake and Palmer. Oh, my goodness. I wonder if that's from the same person. Did it say who, who sent that one on there? It did. William. It was from William. William. I just remembered the okay. name. So let me here, grab that. This seems cool. This, see is... this is also from William. Oh, this has Lucky Man. This is their debut, I believe. This is from Kevin D. Close. So two different guys. And these look like original records, only because I'm completely speculating just based off of the vinyls like look like they have wear on the yeah. covers. So if these are original, then that's just like even cooler. Oh my goodness, dude. They're gonna have like the biggest like freaking um vinyl collection. It's gonna be crazy. Dude, all right, so Mikey said if you could invite one subscriber to the A and A set, who would it be? The obvious answer is me. Let's do a poll with everyone here now. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's so funny. Dude, he's so funny. Mikey, if you if you ever fly out here, we'll ha we'll have you on, dude. Oh my gosh. Alex, start drinking triple, seeing double, and acting single. That's so funny. Say that again. Alex, start drinking triple, seeing double, and acting single. I like that. Wow. All right. Missy Fry said, M Mikey, you're a riot. 
Mikey's so funny. There were there was this, like a uh, an Instagram story where he was he was like he was like he's Scottish. He, he was just like, oh, I'm, I'm gonna climb this tree, and it's like okay, he's in I'm a pro- very thick Scottish accent. He, he was, I'm probably gonna get stuck. And then, and then he gets up there. He's, he's like, oh, I'm fucking stuck now. <laughs> it was so It's just him in funny. a tree. It's him in a tree. He's, he's like, I'm stuck, guys. Yeah. And it's just like on his Instagram. Oh, my goodness. Mikey's great. Oh. All right. It's, his Instagram story is it's either him traveling out in the freaking like, like going on 10-mile bike rides or it's him drinking whiskey. It's, it's like true. either or. Which, if you want us to watch your stories, that is 100% the way to do it. <laughs> That's so true. Oh, my goodness. All right, young Jamie. All right. You want me to get on? Wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mikey said, Andy, the Netherlands is Holland. <laughs> the Netherlands is Holland. If my stepdad was watching, he's going to be so disappointed in me. Yeah, he probably already is. <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> this is from Mark. Lumen said, Alex, your mom is amazing. She took you to see Rush. Great work in Mama. Took my daughter to see Peter Frampton when she was six. It's part of our jobs to mother our children via music. Mark said, I value your business, and I believe in superior customer service, so I will give you my personal email address. If you have, if you have any issues with this order, please contact me ASAP. Damn. Based off this vinyl. And this is, ooh, we've gotten the suggestions to do them. We definitely plan on checking them out. It's the J. Gills Band. Giles Band. Yo, people, like, probably hate me when I butcher these names, nah, dude. they love you. <laughs> it's like the... Like, oh, this is so cute. He can't speak these names. Yeah, it's like, it's the, like, it's like when you get the, the animal that doesn't know how to walk right, and it's like... Dude, like, that's me? Like a newborn baby. Yeah, like, a new, <laughs> like when you see Bambi before the mom dies. Even the gal's band. All right. Anyway, that seems really cool. It's live, full house. That's cool. Full house, and then you have, like, the, the freaking cars on there. That's so cool. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Is that, I don't see a name on there. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, got a poster. You don't know that. It's definitely a poster. Could be the Declaration of Independence in here. I hope so. We need it. It would be worth <laughs> a lot. Yeah. All the museums would be like, how did you get that? Oh, my goodness, oh, bro. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, bro. Look at that. This is the Wish You Were Here poster, and it's got the lyrics on it. This, I will. Put it more in the frame. It's hard to. It's postery, and it wants Let's to be postery. Y'all see it. Either way, Pink Floyd representation up in here. Wow. Well, love it. I'll let we, that. Thank you. We love that shit up in here. Yeah, especially Pink Floyd. Especially you. You're a Pink yep. Floyd slut, bro. Oh, yeah, dude. They can call me anytime. Oh, they're still saying there's a little bit of buffering, but we've learned to deal with it. Well, well, hopefully we'll have it fixed by next time. We'll probably get a a second, maybe like got like a subsidiary account. If anything, yeah, we'll, we'll do like, like a separate YouTube account and we'll just run a bunch of tests to make sure before next time. We can but, definitely do that. Yeah. It's slow, steady progression. One day we will be good. Listen, guys, we will make 1% positive changes and over the course of years. Next thing you'll be like, wow, how has the production jumped up 10 million percent? Yeah. You know, what as, that, Jamie? as that compounds. Uh, if they're letters, just leave them because we're going to read those separately. Okay. Yep. No name on this. Well. Mm. Here we got. Yep. This is Gino Vanelli, brother to brother. Oh, he's on a beach, chilling on a rock with a kid in the back. Dude, this guy is balling out. Hey, mom, some guy asked, wants me to ask you about the Carpenters. Carpenters. Do you know them? You do. What are what are how, they? How are they? Like, is it like Jesus, the Carpenter? Okay. They good? good? Give them a rating on a scale of one to six. <laughs> one to six? Yeah. Okay. For me? Yeah, for, for you. Yeah. You said three? They weren't my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Three. They were really big, but they weren't my favorite. Big, but not your favorite. That's very fair. Well. <clears throat> Ooh, somebody, Donald Dunlap said, ignore everything and win friends and influence people. Huh. I will, I will ignore everything. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's uh let's pop this open. Whew. This is from Bill Athen. Uh, uh given on the condition that you react to the songs or at least a good few enjoy from Bill Athen. Athen. Yeah. Athen. Joe Walsh the definitive collection. Dude, that's a cool album cover. He's got a song called Ordinary Average Guy. What song did we do? Was it Rocky Mountain Way? And if yeah. I remember right, it was a banger. Yeah, Rocky Mountain Way is on here. That's awesome. You're already influencing people. Now you just need to make friends. 
that's that's facts and also a great burn <laughs> um well all right i think we're getting how many more left do we have uh, not a crazy amount right there's what oh there's that huge one yeah, hand us a couple at a time. We'll, oh, we'll my kinda goodness. Hit me the both I thought we were approaching the end. Wait, we, wait. Ha- we have about, it looks like, less than 10 left. Less than 10 left. Ish. Deal. This is from D. Jones. Uncle Scrubby said, do I have to send another wig? Bro, you haven't worn the first wig. You need to wear that. I gave the wig to my sister's gay friend. I figured he'd get more out of the wig than me. And he yeah, said, he said, he, he said it looked super great. I did try. If you go on Instagram and you look at the P.O. Box like uh, collection like of pictures, yeah. you will see me in a wig looking just like Getty Lee. You do look just pretty like Getty hardcore Lee. like Getty Lee. Yeah. Well, only, in, only in the wig, though. Yeah. So there's more in here. So, oh, so he gave us, uh, D. Jones gave us a letter. We will definitely read that off. Cam, it feels like it's a CD with more letters. Multiple CDs. Oh, my goodness. So this is just many CDs with what looks like track lists on them. So, oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, D. Jones. Do our car rides, our road trips are about to be lit as hell. We're, we're, we're going to pull up on a road trip with, like, 100 CDs. Oh, yeah. That we haven't heard, it's like, all right, let's just throw one in. Yeah, you know we need to drive. We need to pick a far drive. Once college is all over, we'll have to take like a, like a cross country like drive and listen to all these CDs. Who is this from? <laughs> Trying to figure out who it's from so I can give a shout out because it's ooh, so many CDs. Oh my gosh, classic rock and roll volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four, five volumes, and she like. I assume it's a she. Oh, and she had the stuff on the back. Look at that. That's Dude, so cool. That, I can tell it's probably a woman because no guy I've ever met writes that nice. Wow. Dang, one day in six years we'll be able to listen to all of these all the way through. Yeah. And Well, let me keep this with this. Who is this? I, I need to find out who this is I from. That's been the main challenge of getting like stuff from you guys is like, the inability to really just like listen to everything we get because then it's like we won't have material to react to. <laughs> but wow. I feel like there isn't gonna be that point later in life where like all is said and done and we can just literally just dive into freaking everything we got here. That's gonna be an awesome time. All this stuff. This I, is from I open Bowling. mine on accident. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, bro. Basic printer, good weird. This is a weird looking album. Basic printer, what? By Jess Glenn Walter and Aaron Walters. Glenn Walters and Aaron Walters. This looks like kind of an indie one. Oh, is this from the actual... Oh, bro, I think this is actually uh, from the artist. What? I mean, it's it's signed by Jess G and yeah. produced by Jess uh, Glenn Walters. So I assume that's the same person. That seems very cool. Yeah. And he did vocals and synthesizers. Dang, dude. That's awesome. Got a signed album here. Check that if you ever out. want to send us your music, definitely send it through. Because no, we can definitely, cool we'll probably cover. listen to that in our... It's a cool cover. Yeah. Wow, that's awesome. All right, thank you, Blaine. He sent us a thumb drive of music. Cool. Wary of that in the future, we definitely don't want to stick foreign drives in our computer. So, like, you know? <laughs> yeah, he's about he's afraid of viruses. <laughs> it's just it's just sketchy. It's just sketchy. You, you get a drive, you just don't want to go plug in, you know? Go plug in. You don't want to, yeah, you don't go sticking things in places. Yep. <laughs> All right, what is this? Bell flasks. What? What is this? Love the show. These are these are uh use these with your favorite beverages. They're also available on Amazon. You can take them everywhere and they won't break or leak. Oh. What is it? It's like they're like they're like uh squishy flasks. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. So we can get drunk in public. And uh, no one will ever know. Yeah, except that they say flask on them. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, I think the same guy also sent us a sticker. I like stickers. That's cool. Wow. And if that was from... Uh, I don't know. I don't know wow. who that's from. Now who can't read? It's probably <laughs> still in there. <laughs> All right. All this stuff. Oh, this box. Oh, she She's thick. All right. She's thick. Yeah. She's a thicken. It's a big box. Who is your closest subscriber? Uh, we have some people say, if you mean location Dude, I don't know, there's like, if you mean close by like relationship, probably saying, like, there's probably a top five. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take it in closeness of, ah, I guess my mom, yeah, uh, and Jamie. 
Uh, Jamie's like, oh, I just if you mean geographical <laughs> geographical location of somebody who does not know us in person, I've seen messages from people who are in like the Tampa area, like Riverview, just around yeah. the same town. So I guess there. Yeah. If you mean close by relationship, then I guess there there can't be a top subscriber. There's like at least like a, you have to make it ten or something. There's no yeah. way. No way. No way. All right, let's get these two big ones out of the way. Sweet. All righty. Um, I'm gonna. Here, here's how we're gonna do it. We're going to hand it one at a time. This one at a time. So you're going to take your microphone away. He's going to give you the box. I'm going to talk. In the meantime, you okay. open your thing. Okay. And we're going to do vice versa. I like it. Okay. Fair enough. Good game plan. Go team, go. Break. Great way to build a vinyl collection. Oh, yeah. We would not have been building this this fast. Somebody, this is from Terry. Uh, hello from England, said Anais and Samantha. Somebody just said, does Alex? Alex does. That's true. See what else we got here. Ooh. What is that? A globe whiskey decanter. Are we about to upgrade from this old thing, bro? I want to see it. I want to see it. Very excitement, much happening. Hello from Scotland. Hello, also from Scotland. William, that's me. Well, hey, William. No way. I'm about to get incredibly way too excited. Yeah, I can hold that. I'm gonna have to vacuum all over oh, this place. This is but the whole deal. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh, that's that's that's, that's cool. How does that? That's, that's cool. How does it do it? Hold this. I don't know if I trust I myself. I don't know if I can hold I'll, my hand to these things. Oh my gosh. It's got two glasses. Oh my gosh, bro. I think it goes like this. You feel like a tap type thing? Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is mind blowing. This is the coolest thing. I feel like this belongs in a museum, not for me to get drunk off of it. Yeah, that just seems so pretty, dude. Okay. Uh, Mom, can you help with this? I don't want it. I don't trust myself. You've got better things going on than I do. Here, take that. Got scared to break it, too. I know. That's why I handed it off to that's you. That's what, uh, in the industry, we call that a sexy decanter. Yeah. That's what that's, what that's called. Wow. Goodness gracious. Your turn for the <sighs> for the big package, dude. All right, I'll take this big package. All right, you go on the chat. That's heavier. Way heavier. Way heavier. All right. Hey, you got some muscles, buddy. All right, this is from K. Kennedy. K. Kennedy. Cool. Oh my God, it's a dead body. That's not funny, dude. Some whiskey socks. Bring me some whiskey. whiskey socks. Oh my god! It says, "Bring me some whiskey" on the socks, and on the back it literally has like, "Oh my god!" They sent us a spelling bee champion shirt. Is it because I can't read? Yeah, probably. I can't with these people, man. Oh. They sent us uh, across the universe, which I think is that Beatles. It's like a Beatlesy movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the word on the street, at least. Okay. Across the universe. Almost famous. Bless you, Jamie. Almost famous. Best of Grand Funk Railroad. Cool album cover on that one. Best of Grand Funk Railroad. And that is a cool album cover. Um, oh, is this person from Scotland? They sent us a Scotland sticker. They're trying to compete with Mikey. They are trying to compete with Mikey. Is that like a Scotland sticker, but is, is that like the fireball, like whiskey, like symbol? Or no? I, I could be totally like butchering everything. I think Fireball's from Canada, though. All right. Uh, I'm probably all wrong. Sent us some little knickknacks, like a little drum set knickknacks. Oh, my goodness. That's so cool this looking. This definitely going on the shelf when we get it. Yeah, when we get knickknack shelf, this is this is it. I might be able to. This is cool. Oh I might be able to goodness. make this work. All right, I'm going to talk like this. All right, sent us so many things. Hootie and the Blowfish. I love Hootie. And also the Blowfish. <laughs> great White. Okay, I've actually heard some Great White. I don't know what songs, but I've definitely heard at least great one. Great White? Yeah. Never heard of it. Almond Brothers Band? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this is the one album that has the Midnight Rider. Bro, one of my favorite albums of all time, Appetite for Destruction. Ooh. Great, Guns great debut. Roses. Heart, which we need to explore more. More women on the channel is great. Um, The Rolling Stones, Rewind. White Snake, I think. 
White Snake. Ooh, and then and Encomium, which is a tribute to Led Zeppelin, I guess. I don't know. It's like a cover band. Oh man, dude, they sent us so many things. Uh, Use Your Illusions 2, Guns N' Roses, another phenomenal so album. So many CDs. Dude, I love that. I'm going to have to use that one very often. Uh, Fuel, something like Human. Stoned, Immaculate. And then another great white album. And I, there is also more in here. So be prepared. Something that says, warm beer, cold food, come on in. <laughs> Oh, and then a cool ass little like Les Paul guitar. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Oh, and here's a stand for it, I believe. It has a stand. I think so. And then that's, that's a that's a knickknack. <laughs> that's gonna go up there. <laughs> now you know why I didn't hand him the decanter. Yeah, don't hand me literally anything. Don't worry, there's carpet on the ground. Uh, Jethro, that was a Jethro Tull album, and then so many records. Oh my this is what was so heavy. Okay. All right, take that. That's a lot of records, dude. That's a lot of records. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm just going to go quickly through the names. So we got April Wine. Check, check, check. Yeah, April Wine. Journey. Um, more Journey. The Rock album includes Sticks, Kansas, Foreigner, Boston, and ELO. That's cool. I don't know what. Maybe a collection album. And you see a Alan Parsons Project. We have to do them, right? Yeah, we're doing like Eye in the Sky or something like that. Crack in the Sky. Something. Zeppelin 2, phenomenal album. Ooh, Kansas. Kansas. More Journey. They must love Journey. Blue Oyster Cult. Bob Seger, Second Night Moves. Now we have a double, so we can both have one. Toto, 